video an overview of micropython this next video will teach you the basics of micropython its origin and why you should even bother learning it the title of this course is introduction to micropython using the pyboard as you can see there are two new terms involved micropython and pyboard let's have a look at micropython first the word micropython can be divided into micro and python from this it is obvious that micropython has got something to do with python so then what exactly is python python is an easy to learn widely used popular and expressive programming language and why is python so popular to the amazement of completely no one python managed to top various lists that are used to rank programming languages such as the type index and the pypl index the pypl or popularity of programming language index is created by analyzing how often language tutorials are searched on google it ranked python in the first place the type programming community index is an indicator of the popularity of programming languages the index is updated once a month the ratings are based on some factors like the number of skilled engineers worldwide courses and third party vendors popular search engines such as google yahoo bing wikipedia amazon youtube and baidu are used to calculate the ratings the type index has ranked python in the third place now one of the reasons for python's popularity is that it is relatively easier to learn so why is python easy to learn learning python is easier than learning other languages because it is easy to understand and has a very straightforward syntax the best part about python is that the code is very small compared to other programming languages this fascinating language was developed by guido van rossum in the late 1980s an interesting fact about python is it was named after the bbc show monty python's flying circus and has nothing to do with the reptile by the same name python is mainly a scripting language which is a programming language that supports scripts here scripts are programs written for a special runtime environment that automate the execution of tasks that could then again be executed one by one by a human operator scripting languages are often interpreted rather than compiled in the electronics world python is used to program embedded systems like raspberry pi where an interpreter is running on the raspbian operating system to execute the python code which might not be possible in the case of microcontrollers now that we've understood what python is all about let's move on to micropython micropython is nothing but python for microcontrollers it was developed by damian p george who is a physicist by profession but is more interested in programming so why did damian develop micropython as technology improved the level of abstraction increased that is users were not expected to have in-depth knowledge about the technology they use they just needed to know the basics to use it for example for using a mobile phone we need not know how the mobile phone functions on the hardware level or the operation of the backend software of the mobile phone we just need to know the basics of how to use it the same principle was implied in the development field where the developers would not expect to know how the compiler converts high level language into low level language in order to code a simple program for a specific application abstraction is applied everywhere for a long time now c or c++ is being used to code microcontrollers like arduino msp430 etc 
This is tough for beginners because learning C or C++ is tough and boring. Meanwhile, learning and implementing high-level languages was, is and will be very easy. Tinkerers and hobbyists like to use high-level language rather than breaking their head with learning and implementing low-level languages to program electronic boards. So again, abstraction was applied here. The key thing to note is, high-level languages can only be used in systems which have an OS because they need a lot of memory. Let us come to the hardware part. Nowadays, a single chip or a microcontroller is capable of providing an enormous amount of functionality. This is where the microcontrollers come into the picture. Today's microcontrollers are more complicated than earlier avatars. But the programming languages used in them is not a high-level language. To control these complex devices, we usually use low-level languages like C, which is relatively difficult to learn. A high-level language for a microcontroller can make life easier for the developer. For this, scripting languages can be used. And in this case, Python can be the right choice because it can be learned easily. In technical terms, Python is an interpreted language, which means that Python scripts does not have to be compiled. Python is an object-oriented, high-level programming language with dynamic semantics. Its high-level, built-in data structures combined with dynamic typing and dynamic binding make it very attractive for rapid application development as well as for use as a scripting or glue language to connect existing components. It's easy to write what you mean in Python with concise and simple code. Additionally, Python flourishes because it has a well-organized, proactive, diverse and welcoming global community. But Python needs a huge amount of memory to run, which is not available in the case of microcontrollers. And also, Python does not allow low-level access to the hardware. This is the reason why Damien chose to develop MicroPython. Damien began his project to build a Python interpreter for microcontrollers in 2013. He started writing MicroPython to see if it was possible. From scratch, he made a Python compiler so skinny that it could squeeze into 128 kilobytes of RAM by re-implementing Python 3 and then wrote the runtime and built-in functions. The good news is that most of the features of Python are implemented in MicroPython. Till now, we haven't talked about the exact definition of MicroPython. The definition of MicroPython, as per Damien, is MicroPython is a lean and efficient implementation of the Python 3 programming language that includes a small subset of the Python standard library and is optimized to run on microcontrollers and in constrained environments. MicroPython is a variant of the Python 3 language designed specifically to run on memory-constrained microcontrollers. We will cover MicroPython in depth in the subsequent videos. Summary In this video, we saw what Python is, what MicroPython is, why MicroPython was built, and why you should care about it. In the next video, we will get an overview of the PyBoard.